Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to Blue Cinema Mix. We're going to try something a little bit different today. Uh, as you can see, this time I'm not playing a game. I... Sorry about that. There we go. Took care of that problem. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, well today we're going to do something a little bit different. Last few times I've been playing some games, and those are pretty, pretty cool and everything. I, I enjoyed that. But this time... I wanted to do something that was a little more relaxing for me. Um, I really love the Funko Pops, or you might hear me refer to them as Funkos, just because the way the word is and the way I hear it around here, it's everybody's interpretation is a little different. But I love Funkos. They're adorable. They have these little big eyes, and I mean, you really can't not love them. Of course, I don't own the brand or anything, so please don't, you know, consider me advertising. They don't pay me for any of this, so. This is just me having a little bit of fun. Now, I found out that they actually have these cute little versions. I'm going to show you right here. It's a um, DIY version of it. Now, there's only a few of them, but they're adorable. And I figured I might as well give this one a try. I mean, I love them. Why not try to create my own? So, I'm going to see if maybe I can make it as close to what Simba should look like. That's, that's the one I'm doing this time is Simba. Uh, but of course, everyone adds their own little twist to him. As you can see, he's super cute. Very, very adorable. Um, they don't come with any kind of painting material to go with them. So you, if you do decide that you want to do this one on your own, you do want to make sure to pick up some supplies. So I took a quick run to Walmart, of course, because that's where everyone gets everything. You can't really not end up at Walmart, I'm sorry. Picked up some small little acrylic paints. Um, it does say that you don't want to use anything that's washable. So, acrylic, probably the best ones to use. Some brushes, of course, because I was not prepared for any of this. It's not really something that I do on a regular basis, but it seems like it would be fun. And, of course, while I'm doing that, I just want to see if maybe if uh, I can pick up a few people in the chat, see if anyone wants to have a little conversation. Of course, I'm going to be talking. Um, with everything going on right now, I have spent quite a lot of time watching television. Uh, movies, whatever's been coming out, because, I mean, we're kind of stuck at home right now. But, I mean, there, there are the upsides to that. I, I enjoy it, honestly. I've never been somebody who does a lot out in the public anyways when it comes to enjoyment, unless I'm at Disney World or somewhere fun, amusement parks. You can't go wrong with any of that kind of stuff. But, right now, the big thing is staying home. And, of course, staying home means watching a lot of TV, working out, all that kind of stuff. However, I've kind of chosen the, the first one. It's a little bit more fun in my, my idea. So we're going to go through some of the shows and different kinds of movies that I've been watching. A lot of questions that are coming up. Uh, I haven't actually been this into TV since, honestly, the, the first series that I binged horribly for several years was The X-Files. Um, you really can't go wrong with a good female male team who are looking for aliens and bad guys. So, of course, for me, the next transition to that is superheroes. Uh, I've always loved them, but never been as into them as I have recently. Of course, they've, they've now got me looking at everything from their action figures to the different comic books that were around in the past. Um, I wasn't really very into comic books as a kid, but I've been kind of getting into them lately. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a good backstory for a lot of these characters. It's just... Uh, fun to see where they came from and what Stanley was thinking when he put them together. I mean, everyone has a backstory and it's kind of nice to see that what you see on TV is a little more in depth than that. But of course, while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on my, my little Simba monito. So you're, you're going to hear that word quite a lot because I, I call them my monitos just because uh, I don't know if you can tell I'm Hispanic. so. Of course, that's going to bring out a few words every once in a while that are kind of Spanish, kind of not, just because here in the U.S. you don't really have a lot of full Spanish. I mean, it's, it's a little different, depending on where you go. So, my monito is Simba, and I'm going to go ahead and get started by, I guess, trying to coat the most part of him, which is going to be, I guess, all of him, pretty much. And if you're following the regular version of him, I mean, he's pretty much yellow. So, I'm going to try to go yellow with maybe a little bit of some different color of fur on him in some places even though in reality he's not really too different at least not as a, as a as a kid in this version he's mostly just yellow but 
we'll see where we can go with that. So let's see, let's go ahead and get started with this. We'll have, have some fun, see what goes on. Maybe I can get somebody in and have a little bit of a conversation going on. So let's see how this, I don't even know how this is honestly going to stick to him. But it looks like it sticks pretty well. Probably have to coat him several times though because it looks kind of thin. And I don't want a weird looking like tinted Simba. I would actually like it to look like a, a nicely painted. Let's see here. There we go. And of course while we're doing this let's go ahead and just you know get started a little bit. Alright. So. Lots of shows been coming out a lot lately. And depending on what platform you have is pretty much what you've been watching. Uh, I've kind of bit the bullet and pretty much purchased every one of them that I could get my hands on just to have a uh, variety of shows to watch. Because, I mean, you really can't go wrong with having different shows. I tend to binge and, like, I guess stick with one show for a while until I get finished or until it gets to at least a stopping point. So, first one up, WandaVision. Of course, like I said before, I don't own the rest of Disney, so please... Please don't, you know, hold me to anything that I'm saying here. This is purely opinion, and, uh, well, this is my opinion. So, I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, I mean, cool. Um, I'd love to hear why you, you like it, why you don't like it, if there's any reasons you don't. I mean, I, I'm actually, I liked it. I, I didn't really think I would based on the commercials, honestly, because it didn't look like it had a lot of substance to it, and it looked really corny, but... It turns out it's actually pretty interesting. I mean, I know it follows mostly the comic book stuff. I've never read the comic books, honestly. But I'm actually considering buying a few and seeing exactly what happens with uh, Wanda and, and uh, Vision. And I wasn't really sure what they were going to do with it. Because, I mean, I mean, if you saw the, the movies itself, we all know what happened in there. So, just, I guess I should have probably said this ahead of time. Spoiler alert, just in case. Um, I have gotten up to about episode 7. I know episode 8 came out this week, but I have been holding off on watching it, and I probably won't see it until the end of everything when it comes out. Um, I, I like to binge, so watching things on a weekly basis just doesn't work for me anymore. It used to, but I mean, that's when you kind of had to. There was really no way around it. It was either you waited for the episode to come out, or you didn't watch it at all. But now with uh, the platforms and having full access to all those, it's nice because, you know, I get to let them accumulate and then figure out what's going on with them. But, I mean, come on, it's hard to, to actually do that now as well because you got to deal with everybody who's online. I mean, if you don't watch it, somebody you know watches it. If, if they don't watch it, somebody they know watches it. And then a lot, of, a lot of the time, you get people sharing things online and... They think it's kind of cool, and it, it gets sent off to all their friends. And, I mean, they, they, they share it as something that's, that's pretty cool, and it's out there. But what they don't realize is that they're actually spoiling quite a lot of stuff for you. Especially when you look into those, uh, those different links, and you're like, Oh, I didn't know exactly what I was getting into when I, when I clicked on it to begin with. So, avoiding spoilers has been kind of rough. I mean, I'm, I can't say that I haven't been curious about them, because, I mean, I mean, who isn't? When you get into a really good show, you want to know everything, and having to wait is kind of rough. But I guess in the end, by the time you actually get to watching it, it actually works out pretty well. And then it's just like, you're, you're kind of satisfied, because you can watch everything at, at, at one time. I kind of did that with Game of Thrones, honestly. It got kind of rough trying to, to wait for seasons to come out and having to figure out where I was. So in the end we ended up binging like the last few seasons but after they had already been out. So by the time the series was over I was pretty much backlogged on a few episodes. But it did make for a very very good movie night kind of a weekend. Of course that's when you're gonna go ahead and get your snacks and your popcorn and your drinks and whatever you like to eat when you're at the movies but of course you're sitting on your couch in your pajamas and honestly can you really go wrong with that i i don't think so there's nothing better than watching a good show or movie on your couch especially if it's fluffy and just you know chilling out 
eating a whole bunch of junk food. And I've recently learned that a specific snack that is found very often in, um, well, I'm just going to go ahead and say, it, say Texas, because that's where I'm at. Texas apparently is the only one that does the pickles at the theaters. I did not know that wasn't a thing, honestly. I figured that was something that everyone did. Like, somebody out there one day just decided that we were going to go ahead and put pickles in theaters and mix it with popcorn because it's a good combination. And trust me, it is a good combination. You really can't go wrong with the salty and the sour. It's just, it, it works, honestly. I, I don't know why. I guess it's kind of, well, I have a weird thing with french fries and ice cream, honestly. It sounds weird, but you get the salty and, you, and the sweet. So I'm assuming it's kind of the, sim the same thing just with the sour function. But anyways, I'm kind of getting off topic there. I mean, good snack. I would say give it a try. If you haven't tried it, like I said, it sounds weird, but it's pretty delicious. And it makes for good couch movie time because you, you can just sit there, eat your pickle, or pickles depending on if you're at home and whether you like the little slices or whatever everyone's preference is their own and I'm not going to really fault them for that but getting back to uh, WandaVision there got through to episode 7 when I realized that there weren't any extra episodes listed on the platform and I realized I messed up because I mean who doesn't want to finish off a season right then and there but I am kind of glad that I did see it because I mean there are details in it that I just don't think that I could have waited to figure out and it makes it more it made a lot more sense just from going off of the commercials and trying to figure out who was saying what avoiding what others were saying because I mean in reality there's just a lot of stuff going on but then I was a little disappointed this week when I found out that it's only going to be a total of nine episodes now I'm used to having seasons where there's at least, you know, 12 to 20 episodes, depending on what show you're watching, what you're dealing with. Uh, I mean, X-Files itself, depending on the season, had anywhere between 20 to 24 episodes. By the time you were getting to the later ones, I mean, yeah, you had a lot less episodes, but that's still expected when a show's run anywhere between 10 to 12 seasons. I really can't say that I blame the, the actors for wanting to take more breaks. It's, it's a lot of work especially if you're stuck playing the same character for all those years. But, I mean, come on, WandaVision's only been on for less than a year. And you're already telling me that when I finish off these nine episodes, I will have nothing to watch. So I'm like, okay, really? You, you, you're just going to do that to me? But, I mean, at the same time, I can see their point because they want to, you know, put the hype up. Apparently, this show is going to fall into the, into the Doctor Strange movie. I have an idea of how that's going to fit just because of a small detail that was in the show. I don't really know if I should say it because if you're watching this, I don't know how far you've gotten. So if anyone wants to, you know, jump in and, and let me know exactly how far they've gotten, then uh, I know whether or not I could say a little bit more. But there is a detail that I would suggest people watch out for. I think it was in uh, episode... Yeah, I think it was episode 6. It's either 6 or 7. It's in the later ones. And because of that detail, I'm pretty sure that that's how they're going to tie it into Doctor Strange. But it still leaves open a whole lot of questions. Because, I mean, especially when you're watching the, these Marvel Function shows, you know that you're in a universe. You're not just in a, a small timeline where everybody is together and it's normal. Of course, you're going to have those different situations you got time travel and I mean there's a million possibilities and of course they're gonna be putting out a lot of movies everything from the the Doctor Strange to the Thors you got your Gardens of the Galaxy um, I mean you've got your Eternals I don't know the order offhand what well, I have it I don't have it on me right now and it's a little bit much to think of when I'm trying to make sure that I don't get this little dude all dirty. There we go. Get his little neck right there. I want to make sure that I coat his head pretty well.
But either way, I'm looking forward to all those movies. I mean... I figured they weren't going to finish it off with just the Avengers series. It was too much to that was left unsaid. I mean, you got that whole blip part. I mean, who was doing what? When were they doing? What was Tony Stark doing? I mean, I know he's kind of gone now. Sorry, spoiler, if you haven't seen The Last Avengers. Um, but I mean... Okay, I'm just going to go with the idea that you know that he's not the, that he's not alive anymore. At least in, in our current version of the universe. Um, but you got time travel now. You got different verses. You got, of course, you got the multiverse itself. So who knows what universe that he actually is alive in. Maybe there's a version where he's alive and he never actually held the glove. I don't know. I mean, there are so many different ways they can go with it. But I'm anxious to figure out exactly what they're going to do. I mean, you got some really great actors that took it to the next level when it came to their roles. I mean, they definitely met the, or went above the bar when it comes to, to portraying characters. You can kind of tell when, when some actors are really into their roles, and then you can kind of tell when they're just kind of doing it because it's a paycheck. None of these kind of gave off that vibe that that's what they were doing, so I think it made the movies about ten times better than they could have, or than they, they were. I guess initially, initially supposed to be. So when you get those that combination of people, it, it just works very well. But all in all, I'm super excited for the last two episodes. I am very impatient though, so the waiting part is killing me. I think I have to let his head dry a little bit to put an extra coat of his yellow... Get his little head. I'm purposely not filling in his nose part. I know technically all of him is yellow, but I don't really want a bright yellow Simba right now. Hmm. It looks like acrylic was the right way to go with this. It seems like as it's drying up a little bit, it's getting a little bit smoother on the figure. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> got him out of frame. Okay, so now, all right, let's get his little body, which means I'm probably going to get paint all over my hands. Okay, so I'm going to be a little careful in that spot because I'm not going to paint his, his little chest the same color as the rest of him. Oh, I'm pretty sure if it dries, if I put a thin layer and it dries, then I can coat it with something else. This little hand though right here is roughly the same color as everything else. Alright, so. Next show coming up is going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier. That one seems like it's going to be pretty epic. I mean, those two characters in themselves are pretty badass whenever they're on the, on the in the movie. I mean, Bucky's got a crazy backstory. And then, well, the Falcon. Eh, I mean, not the most exciting backstory. I mean, I guess he's alright. But I'm interested to see exactly how he fits in. I mean, he's not Captain America, but I guess if you have to get somebody that's a little close to, to what Captain America would be, then I can see how he works. The only thing that I'm really kind of annoyed about is, again, the, the amount of episodes that they're listing. There's not a lot out there aside from the few trailers, and I'm pretty sure everyone's seen the same ones I have. But, I mean, six episodes? I mean, that that's quite short. That, that's actually really short. I mean, I, I get that it's the cost of making the show itself. It's going to be a pretty expensive show. I mean... You got people flying, you got robot arms, and, or sorry, you got metal arms. Uh, you got casts of people doing crazy stunts, so I get it. The price tag on this show is going to be huge. But, I mean, six episodes? I'm, I'm actually quite bummed about that, because, I mean, once I get into it, it's like it's, it's not even a good amount of time to fully get into it before you realize that you're going to be out of a show. So, I mean, I don't know, if anyone else has the same idea or the same thought about that as I do, please let me know. I mean, 
it's kind of rough when you start getting into something and all of a sudden you gotta change the topic, you gotta change the show, just, there's not enough to go around. But I mean, I'm assuming they have something up at, up their sleeve. I mean, Marvel just doesn't do anything for no reason. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure it's going to go up to one of the other movies that's coming out, but I don't really know for sure. There's Apparently there's talk out there that there will be another Captain America movie with Chris Evans. So maybe it somehow fits into that one or... I mean, I, that one I don't know because technically at the end of the, the uh, Endgame... He is an old man, so I would like to know what he did for all those years, because technically he was still super strong. He's still Captain America. He still had all those powers, and I'm pretty sure that he found ways to help. He wasn't going to go anonymously off into the night. I don't think anyone would really allow that, especially during the timeline with the military that he had to deal with, so I'm pretty sure that they uh, recruited him for some stuff but just maybe stayed in the right time period that he probably should have followed to begin with. There we go. Just coating his little body with yellow. Uh... <laughs> I'll probably have to use a smaller brush on that last part because it's getting a little hard to get into the, the tiny spots of the figurine without putting paint everywhere. Let's go ahead and get his little tail. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually quite enjoying this. It sounds funny where you're going to do your own Funko, or sorry, you're going to create your own painted Funko, because, I mean, they're they're supposed to come in already done, because, I don't know, I, I, what's your idea on the box situation? I do not take them out of the boxes. I like them nice and secure. I won't buy them unless I know for a fact that the box that I'm getting has no damage, which is really hard if you're looking for these things at like Walmart or Target or anywhere. Any of these box stores, you're going to have a whole bunch of kids that are going to go touch it and play with them and throw them around. So by the time you actually get to them, they're, they're pretty, pretty damaged in some spots. So it takes me a while to accumulate my collection just because I'm so picky about what the box has to look like. But I've seen in a lot of other streams that people are actually taking them out of the boxes and just putting the box behind them. I still can't bring myself to pull the other ones out of the box. So this is actually the first Funko I've ever taken out of a box. And I have to admit, I thought it would feel heavier, but I guess I don't know what exactly I was considering when when I bought that. It is just as adorable as I thought it would be coming out of the box, so I'm really not disappointed in any way at all. Now let's get his little head smoothed out. Apparently, I'm doing quite a bad job at getting the paint distributed all the way around his big head. Which shouldn't surprise me, because I bought it because they have ginormous heads and they're adorable. Okay, get it over here. Here we go. Get it right there in the little corners. Okay. There we go. Okay. So along with that, now we have the Black Widow movie. That one has had a lot of... Um, situations as time has gone on and mostly not really with the actual movie itself it's just with those who control when it's going to come out i was expecting to be able to have or to have been able to watch it by now but it seems like every time they start talking about it they're talking about how they're going to be delaying its release i really just want to watch it already i mean i get that everyone wants to put it in the theaters it, that's i mean you can do that i mean look what what uh HBO is doing right now. You got them putting out movies and they're putting them in the theaters as well. I mean, either way, you're still kind of going to get the money for it because, I mean, people pay for the services to watch them. I mean, I get why Disney is a little hesitant to put it on their platform because technically anyone watching Disney Plus has already paid for the movie. 
But I mean, the way that they did the Mulan one was, was actually pretty pretty good. I, in, on my own, didn't actually pay to watch it until it was actually on the platform. But that's just because with that one, I had a little bit more patience. It wasn't a movie that I was fully anticipating needing to watch throughout throughout the, the time. I did want to watch it, and I was excited when it finally showed up on the platform. But it wasn't one of those where if I don't watch it like right then and there, that I was going to have a whole lot of problems. I'm having more of that, that situation with Black Widow because I need to know what's going on. I mean, it's another one of those characters where we don't actually know what's going to happen once they, once they get back on track in the, in the MCU. So I'm just, I'm just really curious as to what they, how they, they went with her movie. I know it's kind of a backstory. And I, I like that because her character is actually, there's a lot of mystery surrounding her. I mean, for God's sakes, I keep mentioning Budapest. I don't know what the hell happened to Budapest. I want to know what happened in Budapest, but I mean, they never tell me. They don't tell any of us, so I have to wait around and figure out if I can find those little miniature details about what happened in Budapest. So, I mean, if anyone's read the comic book... <laughs> And knows that answer maybe you know put it in the, the chat I don't mind having that spoil for me it's it's been weighing on my mind since they started mentioning it in the first damn movie okay so pulling him upside down a little bit uh, grab him by his ears he's not dry at all so <laughs> I did not anticipate how rough actually painting his little body was going to be. I probably should have waited on the tail until maybe everything else was dry. There we go. Alright, so you can't really see that. Let's turn him this way. I'm just coating his little belly. So yeah, Black Widow. Crazy anticipation for that one. I need to see it. So I would just like to know exactly when it's going to come out. I just want some kind of full-on update, not like this speculation where we think it's going to come out soon, but we don't know 100%, so it could come out, it might not come out, and then they tell me next month that, oh wait, we've decided it's not going to come out at all? I mean, how many times are you going to do that before we actually see it and people, you know, don't get tired of waiting? It's one thing to have it on the schedule and for us to have to wait for it, but it's a whole another thing to put it on the schedule, then remove it from the schedule because of some kind of technicality between contracts here and there. And it's not even the contracts that have to do with the actors themselves, it's the contracts between the producers and the directors and I mean, yeah, they, they need their their spot, their I mean they have the right to make their decisions for their movies, but you're kind of pushing all of us along and it's getting annoying. There we go, getting his little leg. There are a lot of little tiny crevices in this figure that I did not expect to have to deal with. Okay. So I probably should not have painted his entire little patita there with yellow. But I'm going to do it here and I'll, I'll kind of go over a little bit with maybe a little bit of brown or white or something. Because his little toes have a little bit of a different shade than, than the rest of them does. There we go. I'll probably have to <laughs> repaint his tail later because it looks like I've just kind of removed all the paint that I initially put on him with my hand. So yeah, he's going to take several coats, honestly. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and put him here. Okay, turn around. Maybe now I can get his little tail. There we go, I'm painting my desk, though. There we go, nice and painty. Nice and yellowy. I kind of feel like Bob Ross here, except I can't do, you know, those awesome masterpieces where he makes happy trees and everything. Don't know what a happy tree is, honestly. Okay, so he's yellow. I'm going to give him a few seconds to go ahead and 
try to dry a bit just so I can pick them up without ending up with yellow all over me. Although technically I guess I already have that, so really would it make a difference? Probably not. Okay, so I guess there's not much I can say about Black Widow until they actually decide when they're going to let me see it. All I can say is I want to see it, I need to see it, and I would really appreciate it if somebody at the studio just put it on a damn platform and let me see it. So, just a suggestion out there for anybody who has the ability to, you know, go ahead and make those decisions for these uh, different companies out there. I'm not trying to be pushy, but a little bit annoyed that I haven't been able to see it yet. What I have been able to see, though, luckily, was the uh, shows that Marvel was holding on, or sorry, that uh, Netflix was holding on before all the rights for that stuff started transferring. And I'm actually really glad that I did, or that I was able to, to see those. Now, they really don't have any connection to what's going on in, in the current movie universe, at least none that I can see. But they're pretty interesting. They're a little racy, though. I mean, I kind of like it. You got the, the regular versions that are... The characters are, are nice and... and they really don't say too too much. They're they're not very controversial, except for of course Deadpool, which he <laughs> is probably the most controversial of them all at this current moment. You really can't go wrong with the way he's being portrayed. Honestly, I I like it. I like having the ability to see a superhero that isn't just straightforward PG thirteen um, or G or whatever they're they're considering them. They're definitely not rated R, but. The ones that, that Netflix was holding on to were very different. Uh, I don't know if anyone's seen them, but if you haven't, and I don't really, I don't see, they should, they're probably already off the platform already, so I hope that you got the chance to see them, and I'm hoping that maybe we start seeing them on Disney Plus or Hulu, probably on Hulu, because I don't think Disney Plus would be able to hold them just by the content alone, but there, there's some pretty good watches, honestly. You get the sense that they're really dark in some aspects, but they're they're doing their best. So I guess in, in a way they're they're a lot more relatable because they're not being a superhero isn't what they're used to being. They're used to just doing things to to kind of get by, and they seem like they were regular people or or they can be regular people. So in reality, unless you know that you're looking at a superhero, you really wouldn't pick them out of a lineup to be superheroes. But there were four shows, I think. It was four. You had Daredevil, Luke Cage, I'm oh, sorry, five. Uh, you had The Punisher, you had Jessica Jones, and then you had Iron Fist. Now the one that, the first one that I watched was, was uh, Daredevil. And that one well, that one and, and The Punisher, we watch, I watched them together. But I watched them out of order. Apparently, for all these shows, there is still an order that you have to watch them in. And if you don't watch them in that order, then you lose a bit of what's going on in, in some of the seasons. I went straight through on the, the Daredevil one. And season one, perfectly fine. You get what's going on because it's the first season. Season two, same thing. It's, it kind of shifts within the, within the series itself, and you don't really have to worry too much about knowing what's going on with anything else. But when you get to season three, there's like a complete change and you're like, wait, what happened? What did I miss? And I found that to be the case because I finished off that series before I went on to the next one. It turns out the order is very important for those because there is an entire situation plus kind of like an hour movie slash TV um, event where you have to watch in between it all to, to get the full idea of, of what's going on with, with the show. So, do yourself a favor, whenever you're watching any of these shows, check to see if there's an order that goes with them. Uh, I was a little bit afraid that there was going to be that situation with uh, WandaVision and The Falcon. I mean, for them it's going to be movies, but I was afraid that you were going to have to watch a specific show in between all the rest of them. And if that were the case, and the fact that you don't have any of those shows out right now would be kind of rough, and I can imagine, if you're like me, there would be a lot of angry people out there. Because, I mean... You can't wait an entire year 
to jump onto the next se- or to the first season of another show just to be brought back to the original the second season of the other show that you're watching it's just it's, it's a lot of confusion i mean it's worth it um i can't say it, it wasn't wouldn't have been worth it to wait but i can promise you i would have had a lot of problems cuz you kind of want to finish one series at a time but like i was saying with with the netflix shows you had Jessica Jones which was super dark but at the same time it was just really interesting to see how you had a character who was really just doing her best and it was it was everything from from those dark moments where figuring out themselves to trying to figure out whether they wanted to be heroes and the versions that we see in the movies they already know what they are they they know who they are they know what they do and they're not really too worried about about anything in that aspect because they're they're situated so it was nice to see shows where the characters aren't fully situated yet and they still have a lot to figure out and it just it was a bit refreshing honestly. Uh, let's see here. Let's get his little little body all covered up here. This one's not going on so well, but it might be the fact that I didn't actually like mix the paints around So we're going to go here and just take care of his little chest hair. Make it a little bit of a different color just to make it a little bit dramatic because the actual version of this only has him yellow and I didn't want to just create a big yellow statue because if that's what I wanted to do then I could have just gotten a, a Lego person. However, if they do ever come out with a DIY Lego person, I think I could get on board with that honestly. Okay. There we go. I think the first pass of everything is going to be kind of skimpy just because it's not going to stick right away. I got to let it actually dry a bit before the, the color gets any kind of substance on it. Let's see. Now let's go ahead and take care of that little tail of his. I'm going to make that one brown just to kind of follow through with the fact that he actually has a brown tail. There we go. See, I got some yellow there. Well, that's good. Now that it's dry, it's covering up a bit. So, let's do this. So, yeah, I mean, if anyone's, you know, passing through, even, you know, checking out every, every so often, if you have an opinion on the current situation of our Marvel shows, please let me know. I know what mine is, but it's always nice to, see, to hear how others are, are considering it. It's a bit rough though, like I said, with all this waiting, I'm not very patient. The most patient I, can, I am is when I'm kind of busy with something else at the same time. Which I gotta say, lately it feels like there's always something going on, but you know, we take everything as we can and just move forward, have some fun. There we go, get his little tail all covered up here. Okay. Alright, so back to the, the Netflix shows there. Jessica Jones was just one of them. You also had your Luke Cage and your Iron Fist. Now, I think with the way that they did the Luke Cage one, that one actually, it, it ended up pretty pretty decent. I did want a lot more of the Jessica Jones. I mean, I, I think there was a lot more that they could have done. But I get with time constraints and contract stuff, it's, it's a little bit rough. The Luke Cage one, I think if that's where they leave it, honestly, it's not that bad. It made sense to where they were leaving it. But I think he would be a good character to kind of have coming in and out other series. And maybe having them introduce him later on and, and some of the other shows that are going on. Because he's not as bad, I guess, as, as they would consider. The commercials actually make him look a lot worse. Now, The Punisher, that one was pretty good. However, that one I can definitely see Disney not putting that one on their platform. Uh, that one was uh, quite a bit uh, different than I actually expected. I don't, I, well, honestly, I don't know what I expected with that one. But I can see them not putting that one where kids can get a hold of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of the little circle around his eyes. I'm going to make that a little more orangey, just to give him some kind of, you know, t 
Hint in him. But now the, the yellow part of him is actually pretty pretty dry. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. Getting him. There we go. Okay. So yeah, Luke Cage. If they leave it where it was, and that that's okay. It was pretty. It was a pretty good show, honestly. I actually prefer that one to Black Lightning. That one was just. I had problems following him. It just seemed like he was a force superhero, while Luke Cage was just kind of a natural like transformation between somebody who wanted to help to a superhero. Now, Black Lightning on on uh, the Marvel platforms. That one. Well, actually, no. I think this that one. Yeah, that one might be on Marvel. I'm not really sure where I saw that one, honestly. But that one was a lot more the character forcing his way into doing what he was doing not a natural progression to where he wanted to be somebody different to, to help those around him so I guess that's that's why I was kind of more into to the Luke Cage than than the Black Lightning I mean the effects on both shows are really really good so if you're if you're looking for shows that that have a sense of you know crazy pyrotechnics and and you have those uh, movie quality interactions there. I mean, th those are pre it's a it's a pretty good show. Now, the one that was a little weird for me was Iron Fist. That one was wasn't a, a bad show. Okay, so now I realize what I was doing. <laughs> Black Lightning is actually a DC version. That's why it was weird for for me. It, I guess it's Marvel. It's DC's version of. Luke Cage kind of a thing, just with a diff different power thing. I've actually been watching both DC and Marvel, so I'm getting them a little bit mixed up here and there, just because I've kind of just went on, on a massive binge, where I just watched one show and then went to the next. Now, I do know my mistake where I probably should have finished an entire series of Marvel and then switched off to DC, because it, took, it takes a little bit to keep them both separate, because on... Um, with the DC ones, you also got the Titans and you got your Doom Patrol and all those. So I'm still watching those. And if you hear me get them mixed up, it's not that I don't know the difference between my DC and my Marvel shows. It's that I'm currently watching them both together. So sometimes they, they match together. Although each of them are different and they all have their own properties that, that make them awesome. But in this case, I do prefer Marvel's version compared to DC's version. They did it a little bit more flawlessly when it came to, to the creation of their character on, on that aspect. But Iron Fist is a Marvel show, and that one is, or it was, on the Netflix platform. I don't know if it's still there. I haven't watched it in about a week or two. I don't know. I, I finished it about a week or two, which isn't too far off, but recently Disney has acquired, or sorry, Marvel has reacquired their their rights to those shows. So I don't know if they were going to fully remove them from the platform or if they were going to just leave them there until people lost interest, which I would figure would not really happen because no, who loses interest, honestly? But Iron Fist was a pretty decent little show. I mean, it was three seasons. Or two seasons. I think it was two seasons. But, first season was a little hard to watch, just because, I mean, you got this guy coming from nowhere, who's really, really trying to do his best and be an Iron Fist, but he don't even know what it is. Apparently, none of us knew what he, re what he really was until later on, so, I mean, they did good conv in convincing us that they didn't know what he was. He didn't know what he was. I honestly didn't see any issues with it. I, I do think that they have a lot of room to continue on. Especially if, if you've seen the last bit of that series, you'll, you you would know what I'm, I'm talking about. I don't want to say it in case they still have it on Netflix. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Because, I mean, I don't want to be that person that goes ahead and says something and realizes that the entire audience base has, hasn't seen it yet. But I do know that there there is a situation with uh, Marvel not really taking a liking to... to the casting that Netflix did for that one. And I get it, 
I, I get that you would probably want somebody who's a little more experienced when it comes to the whole, you know, martial arts thing. But I think the casting actually went pretty well because you have to remember that, that Iron Fist what didn't wasn't born into the martial arts situation. Oh no. So it works that they got somebody as similar. But I do see a lot of their point on how they probably wanted the casting to be a little bit different. There we go. Clean them up. See? All nice and better. There we go. It's a little dirty, but <laughs> he's getting there. So, I mean, however Marvel wants to move forward with it, I would have no issues, and of course I'm going to watch. Now, if they don't bring it back, I mean, that's a whole nother thing. I kind of hope they do, because I want to see how it ends. They, they ended it where it was really interesting. And it made me want more, so I'm going to run with the fact that that alone makes it a decent series to watch. But, you know, Marvel's very particular about how they do their stuff. And now with uh, the Disney backing itself, it's going to get a little worse when it comes to them actually putting stuff together. So, we'll see what happens with that in the near future. I'm, I'm hoping that I see them again. But I'm not, you know, naive in the fact that it's possible that I will never see what happens in the next season. With all the extra stuff they're already doing, who knows whether it's even part of their current uh, trajectory for the, the platform. But, I mean, if anyone from Marvel was listening, I liked it. I would like to continue watching it. But, of course, that is totally up to you. I have no control over that. But, I mean, you already knew that. Okay. So let's go back and take care of that little, those little bits of hair. Uh, I think I used the wrong. There we go. Put it in. Let's see if maybe now it'll stick. This will probably be a little hard to, to get to stick. go. It's looking a lot better. It's a little hard not to get this guy a little messy. My coordination is actually quite off, so <laughs> just getting him into the right shades is, is a little bit rough. Luckily, I, it looks like I got some decent little some paints because, I mean, they're not dripping everywhere. his hair. There we go. There we go. Focusing on getting his little hair done. It's a little dirty up top, but can't really help too much on that. See, he's coming. He's coming along pretty well. I gotta say, I'm I'm having fun with this. Okay, put a little bit more brown on his tail. Just, I think that one kind of dried up a bit already, so I should be safe to put another coat of brown on his tail. If anyone's interested in doing these as well, they're, they're, I thought they would be more expensive, but turns out the, the figurine itself was only about 10 bucks. So I guess in, in total, everything here is about $15 to have a nice afternoon of uh, creating your own little monito. There we go. And let's see, where's the other brush that I use? Let's go with this one. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more on around his eyes, make that a little darker. I'm not really too worried about getting on the eye because I'm gonna just paint that black. 
so. Okay. There we go. A little messy, but not bad. Okay. So out of all the shows that that uh, Marvel produced, or not Mar uh, not Marvel because they technically didn't have the rights to it, that uh, Netflix produced, I really think the Daredevil one actually was really really good. Um, they got pretty good casting on that. And, I mean, the characters were solid. They, they were convincing. I prefer this Daredevil to the uh, original movie version. That one wasn't bad on its own, but, I don't know, this guy seems to, to be a little bit more Daredevil-ish. Um, really action-packed, honestly. There's a lot of different things that happen. Uh, now, I've learned my lesson, though, to make sure that I check the orders of the shows, because... That third season was uh, rough to follow, but that's just because I didn't know which way I was supposed to go. I think the platforms actually need to, um, if they're going to have shows where you have to pay attention to multiple shows in order to, to kind of continue on, they need to put a list or they have to put the seasons in the right order. Like, put a um, section of the platform where you have, like, a combination. So this would be the Marvel... I don't know what they would call them, honestly. But you have each season that you're supposed to watch in the order that you actually need to watch it. So you don't have to actually go look for this stuff. Instead, what you do is you just click on that one listing, and it gives you every season in the right order. So even if you don't want to sit there and change everything up, you can go ahead and just hit start on that first episode and, you know, have it just run through the entire thing in the right order. So Netflix, if you're watching, uh, you're welcome. And uh, same thing for Disney. Uh, if you want to give some royalties out here, I'm right here. Don't think you're going to do that, though, so I'm not holding my breath, but just an idea out there. It would make more sense, and it would keep me from having to figure out what the hell I'm watching after I've already watched it, only to realize that I probably should have watched something else. So that, that would save, I think, a lot of us a lot of time. But I'm really hoping that Daredevil comes back. I think that one could have uh, been... Uh, one of those shows that just really continues on. Let's see here. I think I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to use this one. He's kind of already tinted because my hand has paint on it. <laughs> so his uh, the little mouth part here has been getting some weird coloring to him. It's no longer white. see get that little bottom part right here there we go oh. it's starting to come together I mean he's not the nicest looking figurine but then in the beginning and I wouldn't actually expect him to be the nicest figurine ever because um, I don't have steady hands so he is going to be as good as I can get him Go making it look like he's got a little mustache there. There we go. <laughs> I'm hoping that by the time I'm done, he doesn't look so scary. He kind of looks a little bit um awkward right now. <laughs> then again, I still got a lot of color parts that I gotta do. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else out there has any ideas for any any shows that that I should put next because I'm starting to run out of shows to watch. I mean, like I said, if, as you can tell, I've watched all the Marvel ones so far, and I've gone through the DC ones as well. Now the DC ones are pretty good. I mean, they aren't Marvel quality just yet. There's a little bit missing from them. I'm not really sure I can actually 
say what it was that I was that I think is missing. I mean, they have the idea and they have the characters. I mean, they have some pretty decent people to to take care of the the acting. Um, I guess when it comes to their effects and their storyline, they're they're lacking a little bit, but it's because I guess you can tell that they don't fully just focus on that. Uh, DC, uh, the DC ones tend to take a little bit too much time to actually get their their stuff together, and it kind of goes through on their their TV shows as well. Um, but I mean, it's it's not they're not bad shows. Uh, like I said you got Doom Patrol, you got your Titans. Um, I know CW is actually about to come out with a new Superman, and that one looks pretty cool, honestly. Um, the Titans one is, is it was a little different than I expected. I honestly expected the cartoon. Uh, like, like everything else that's going on right now, you have a lot of these shows that are just using older shows as new versions. So I thought when I saw Titans, what I was going to see was a recreation of older episodes from the, the cartoon that, that was in the 90s, honestly. But it turns out it wasn't. And I feel like that, that was a, a pretty good surprise. It gave a little bit of depth to the characters that I didn't actually expect to see. Because I'd never actually seen... Robin and Starfire in that form. I mean, I did see the cartoon, and I, I finished that one off, and that one was pretty pretty interesting. But the way that they, they put it together, actually, it brought those characters out. It made them a little more substantial than I think the, uh, the cartoon did. Uh, and I, I do like that they really did go, go forward and, and put all they, they, they needed to into making sure that the characters actually had their powers correct and everything. I mean, and by, what I mean by that is that a lot of times you get these recreations of TV shows and they have similar powers or they do something kind of similar, but this one you still had Beast Boy who was going to do it, his morphing. Uh, you still had Starfire and, and Raven that had their, their crazy powers and they were portrayed in the, in the right format. Now, Beast Boy, I did have a little bit of an issue because he doesn't turn into all those extra things. They, they literally only had him turning into a tiger and I think there was once where he was a snake, but there was a lot more that he could have done. I mean, in the cartoon, you have him turning into multiple different things. I mean, it wasn't just the tiger, and it wasn't just that, that one time where he turned into a snake. I think that they could have done more, but I can see how, on a budget, that might have been rough for them. Because <laughs> it does take a lot to morph somebody into a tiger, and it does take a lot to morph them into a, uh, a snake. But he's Beast Boy. He's not Tiger Boy or Snake Boy. And I think that was probably my biggest issue with the entire thing, is that I wanted to see him turn into all those things that I knew that he was supposed to be able to do. But I was honestly not disappointed with the show at all, except for the fact that it felt like it ended too quickly. Same thing, I think they needed more episodes in order to finish off the series, because they kind of completed it, and they just left it where... You don't know what's going to happen. So if, I mean, if they were doing that in order to bring part, uh, to bring up a movie, I mean, that works out. That's, that's pretty awesome. Because then we have an idea of, of what's going to happen later on. But right now, there's no news at all on whether or not we're going to get a movie. I don't know if there's a full demand for it. I would honestly be open to, to watching one. I like the idea of having some closure in a movie. But I know right now they're kind of focusing on getting their stuff together with Wonder Woman and then with uh, with the uh, re putting out that new version of the Justice League. Which I saw the commercial for that one. I thought it was going to be kind of redundant because you were going to have the same, essentially the same movie. But I do have to say, I will be watching it. It does look like it's going to be a little different now. And it seems like there's going to be some extra characters that maybe should have been in the original movie but weren't. But it looks like if they're for a recreation of, of a movie that came out not even five, ten years ago, I mean, I mean, that movie hasn't even been out, it's barely a few years out, honestly. So for them to recreate it was, was a big risk to begin with. But I, I'm pretty sure they're, they just use all that backup footage that they had. A lot of it was, uh, they were upset that they didn't get to use all the footage due to cuts and stuff that the, the, company makes but 
same time, you really have to expect that a lot of the stuff that you shoot when it comes to those movies aren't actually going to end up end up in the movie. There's just too many people who have too much say, and by the end of it, what you're working on might not be exactly what you expected. So I'm I'm, I'm glad that the director is getting the chance to put his version out. But I mean, there are other avenues for other movies if they want to go ahead and move forward with those. go so he's coming together he's got those little ears and everything there we go <laughs> he looks a little scary though but he's coming together okay let's go ahead and get some more color into him I'm just gonna take care of his little lips here It's gonna take several coats, honestly. I did not expect this to have to take several coats. There we go. This spot's a little hard because there's a. I don't want to get the inside because that's technically where his little teeth are. have to go over with white because those are his little teeth right there and I'm pretty sure they're not pink so let's see there we go so yeah for anyone just coming in I'm just sitting here painting this little guy uh, DIY Funko Pop Simba. Uh, there's quite a few of them out there and uh, I figured I'd give it a try because it looked like it was fun. And at the same time just having some conversation on uh, current movies. Mainly the stuff that I've been watching for a while. Which is uh, a large portion Marvel, some DC. Uh, of course you can never go wrong with reruns of things like X-Files and uh, I like to throw in Stargate. I mean I'm probably a little bit nerdy in that aspect but I like the show honestly. It's not that bad. I know quite a few people who would uh, object to that, but I'm going to go ahead and say that I, I enjoy that one as well. So let's see. And let's go ahead and take care of his little eyeballs. There we go. Okay, see now when you start adding the eyes, he starts looking a little bit more like a, a pop. There we go. So yeah, if any of you have any uh, opinions on current uh, movies that are out right now, uh, maybe you think my opinion is wrong in some way or another, please let me know. I'd like to hear your versions of things. I mean, I have my opinions, but I know that for a fact they're not necessarily going to be the right ones. Uh, maybe I'm seeing something in the wrong wrong way. I mean, if you want to enlighten me on how I should be saying something, please let me know. He does look a lot better with high balls. It makes it a lot less scary. Because see, now he's starting to turn into a, a cute little figurine. And not this creepy looking zombie that I'm, I'm painting. So there we go. Although I wouldn't mind painting a zombie one. But as of right now, I don't think there is any zombies that I can paint. They're all um, already packaged. So if I get any of those, which I don't really think I am. I'm not really fully into the zombie versions right now, at least. There we go. It's not the prettiest, but I'll work with it. There we go. I do have to say this has been quite relaxing though, just sitting here talking. <laughs> I 
Okay, see that one needs more paint because now he looks like he's got like a glass eye. There we go. That's looking better. Probably gonna have to go over it with a thinner brush though just because I think I messed up on the edges and it's spilling out onto the other part of him. There we go. See, there's a part of his eye where I'm missing it, but I should probably use a, a tinier brush because I think this one's too thick. Now, since I'm already using this one, I might as well just go ahead and take care of this part right here. Those little eyebrows, everybody needs to have some definition in their face, and his comes from his eyebrows. There we go. So yeah, like I was saying, the DC ones have been pretty well, pretty good as well. I lost track of June Patrol though, so that one I do feel like I have a lot to catch up on. Because no, think about it or not, the um, Titans one does actually connect itself to Doom Patrol. I did not actually see that coming when I was watching it, so to see the connection was actually kind of interesting. And really just made me realize that I need to get back to finishing off that series. But this week I've kind of taken a break from the newer series that I have to pay close attention to. To just watching some older series that, that are just relaxing to, to watch. Because I think everyone has that one show or two where it doesn't matter how many times you see it. It's going to be good to, to sit there and just chill out with. Uh, I've got two or no I've got three of those. First one, I mentioned it earlier, is the X-Files. That one I can watch that a hundred times. I mean, at this point, I pretty much know what's going to go on in every episode. I can be dead asleep and just hear the uh, sound of the intro and the first few seconds of the, of the show, and I know what's going on. I have sat there many hours figuring out what each episode is. Uh, everyone has their favorite episodes. And their favorite seasons. I'm more partial to season 7. A little bit because that's the one that was always on TV. But <laughs> mainly just the storyline in that in that season. It, it, I feel like that's where there's a little bit more in depth to, to the two characters. Uh, the second series that I can pretty much sit there and watch all day every day. Is of course your, your Big Bang Theory. I mean who can you know get tired of those guys it's it's just pure fun they talk about interesting things they do interesting things and it's just the idea of having a group of friends that can get together that way on a regular basis it's just it's just nice to see so that I, I, I enjoy watching that one quite often I'm actually in the middle of that one again I think I'm in season three right now I've been binging it for the past two weeks not two weeks, well, maybe like a week and a half, just depending on what day I talk about. Um, but yeah, that one's always a good uh, stress reliever, especially like if you've had just like a bad week and things are going kind of crazy, then you just toss it, you just, you know, turn on the TV, set it to Big Bang Theory, and, and you're good to go, honestly. That one, it's, it's just enjoyable. Now, the third series, which is going to be a little weird, but it's weirdly relevant honestly a lot of the time so I can sit there and watch the uh, the mash show from the, the the early mash show honestly that that one I don't think I can get tired of that one either I mean it's a weird accumulation of shows but each one of them has their their own uh, aspect that just makes it awesome and everyone's got those uh, things that can just kind of calm them down at the end of a day you put either of those shows on, and I am as happy as I can be, honestly. Just sitting there, relaxing on your couch with, with a good TV show. I love that the platforms allow me to, to watch those whenever I want. Uh, last few weeks, with all the crazy weather and everything going on, I've been able to sit there and, and catch up on some episodes that I uh, haven't seen in a while. So I was... Uh, lucky enough to be able to to sit down and, and chill out and watch a few episodes of X-Files uh, and now with the Big Bang Theory it's just kind of one of those relaxing week situations because uh, I mean with everything going on out there in, in 
in the world. You gotta have the ability to just kind of chill out and sit down and enjoy yourself and not worry about what's going on outside your door. I know not everyone has that luxury, but when you do get a chance, you gotta kind of take it. Let's see, I need a thinner brush because I need to one fix those little this head. I gotta I gotta fix it eyes honestly. I guess because I, I focus mainly on how they look when it comes to their eyes. I need his little face to be normal. Cause I'm pretty sure that this right here let's see. Well first let me just go ahead and I was gonna paint his nose something different. But I think I'm just going to go back to the original yellow. I mean, technically his nose is, is just a little darker yellow. But I don't have that color. I got the basic color pack where you get the basic color. So let's see here. Turn him over. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Take. Oh. There we go. Okay. And wipe it after each time just because if it touches the pink the next thing you know he's got a weirdly pink nose there we go okay so now he's good with his nose there's a lot of him i'm gonna have to go over well, let's go ahead and get some of the, the black details a little bit more situated Okay, so I'm going to go over his eyebrows a little bit. There we go. Nice and thick. There we go. Now let's get the next one. There we go. Kind of spilled it over a little bit. There we go. So he's going to have one eyebrow a little thicker than the other. Unless I just go ahead and even them out. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I really enjoy the Funko stuff. I, I like opening them. I like to see what's inside the packages. There's only one type of package that I... I will never leave in a box. And those are those little mystery packages. Now those, I, I don't know, when they come in a package, it's just something that says you have to open them. Now these have these that little clear thing, window where I can see exactly what it is. But if I can't see inside the box, I'm gonna open it to figure out what's inside. And I'm considering going through and finding some that might be fun to open live, honestly. Not really sure exactly which ones I want to use though, because there are a lot of them out there. As far as my collection itself, it's quite. Uh, I got a lot of different monitos, honestly. I don't have any. Well, I mean, I, I have quite a lot of the Pokemon, which shout out yesterday was Pokemon Day. Um, I have most of those Funkos. I think I just need the new ones that just recently came out. Because I have all the way up to Mewtwo, but I need Mew. I just saw that one recently. I just haven't been able to find it, and I'm still real hesitant about ordering them and having them come in a box. Um, I don't know. I, I prefer actually being able to, to go and find these things at stores. But of course, right now with the situation, you really can't go to a store and spend hours looking for figurines. But, as things go by, I think I'll probably try to, to get back a little bit more to it, just to, to take the, put the fun back into, into the collection. I mean, it's fun finding things that online and having them ship, but I'm always just more afraid that the boxes that I'm going to receive are going to be damaged. So far, Amazon and, and all those other ones haven't really done anything really wrong with my packages, but... There's always that one chance that that one figurine, that one Funko that, that you have is going to come in that box and not be in the condition that, that you need it in. 
However, that does leave open for actually opening the boxes. If I get a figurine that uh, is quite bad when it comes to the box, I have no reason to leave it in the box. Because that isn't going to be the one that's going to be part of my closed collection, honestly. Because there, I guess there's two versions. There's the closed collection, which those will never be open. Those boxes will always stay closed and hopefully one day, you know, somebody will want my collection. And then there are the ones that come a bit damaged, but I mean, you're not going to get rid of them because they're adorable. I would never get rid of them. So I probably would open those boxes just to have them out of the package and chilling out on the, on the shelf. But also I do need to get a bigger shelf because I have just enough for the shelf that I have, which doesn't say much because it's not a big shelf. So I will eventually get a shelf big enough to handle a larger collection because I need more of them. I just, it's just an, a must and it's just what has to happen. All right. So <laughs> it looks a little funny, but He's pretty much dry on the large parts. I'm going to try going over him at least one more time in some areas. Um, I am not the artist that I pretend to be right now, but, you know, he came out pretty nice. The paint held, so hopefully one more coat and he will actually look like the, the shiny little figurine that I was hoping he'd look like. Uh, let's go ahead and give him another coat of yellow. go I'll try not to stay on the same spot because I think that's what will cause the clumping on him there we go I'm gonna try to be a little bit more careful and as I said that I got yellow on his eyebrow <laughs> which I think that means I should probably switch to a smaller brush so let's go ahead and do that. Switch over to a... There we go. There we go. Get it all nice and smoothed out here. There we go. So for those of you that have popped in and out of my chat, or my... my you know, my uh, channel. It's nice to see people coming in and out. I get that I'm new to this, so I mean, anyone has any kind of tips on what they want to see done or how I should handle things, please let me know. Because, I mean, I'm just kind of getting into this for fun, honestly. I figure with everything changing, I needed a uh, new hobby. Not new hobby, but I needed something that was a little different and I've been having fun with this. I mean, I've been doing this for off and on for the past two months. Uh, hopefully some good can come out of it. But if not, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying this, especially today. I mean, I'm sitting here talking about all the things that I like and I'm painting a adorable little figurine who is turning out quite nice, honestly. I was a bit afraid that he wasn't gonna turn out the way that I expected, but there we go. Uh, I probably should have been using this brush from the very beginning, honestly. It's a little easier to handle. But yeah, if, if anyone wants any kind of uh, little project to work on, just to kind of chill out at home while watching TV, honestly, I recommend these quite, quite strongly. Not only do you get to add on to your own collections, you get something that is uniquely you. I mean, I could have done this one in all different kinds of colors. I was thinking about it, but I wanted to see if I could get him to look like the monito he's supposed to be. I think on the next, the next time I do this one, or I do something similar to this. I might make it a little bit different just to see how different I can get it. Maybe add some glitter paint or something to it. So 
this time since I wasn't really sure if I would enjoy it or not. I went and I just kind of got the basic paint set that you would get in the craft section. be a little bit more careful around this spot because those eyebrows can cause a lot of problems. There we go. I need a pointy brush. I need a pointy brush so that I can put the, uh, the yellow inside his, his ear. Since I'm doing this one, I might as well go ahead and take care of the other side. There we go. Let's see, here we go. There's my yellow brush back. they had the Pokemon version of this right now I've only seen three like let me see the box has three specific ones and they're all Disney related so you have Simba, Bo Peep and Dumbo I would like to see them in other versions like maybe Pokemon or Harry Potter or any of those because I do need to add a lot of Harry Potter to my collection honestly I'm lacking in my Harry Potter department, which I have to say is kind of bad of me since I have the book, or I have one of the books that I need to, I need to get the series though for collection purposes. I've read them, but I don't own them. There we go. Let's turn them upside down. There we go. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm going to turn them this way so you can see what I'm, I'm doing. I want to make sure I get all parts of it because I don't want there to be some random white because then I didn't do it properly. There we go. There we go. See, the second coat of paint does a lot for this. You get a little bit of the texture to go away from all the, the paint gloopiness that I've put on this to begin with. There. Okay. So see, now he, he's actually looking like the little figurine that I expected him to look like. Trying to be a little extra careful here because with the first coats I kind of got a bit sloppy. There we go. There we go. like these are the, the little parts that could either make or break your figurine on this way. Either you get them right or you end up with a very messy version of your of your toy. and take care of his little nose. There we go. So he's, he's turning out really nice, honestly. Okay. Because technically the black was only one coat. Let's go ahead and get the... take care of this part.
I'm gonna take take care of the entire head portion of him first before I switch over to the body. Just because I need something to, to hold on to. See, I missed a lot of his eye. So yeah, if anyone has any idea on what shows I need to, to go through next. I'm open to pretty much all genres. But with the fact that things haven't changed in a while, I've pretty much seen what there is to see. So unless... Disney and Netflix and HBO start putting on new stuff. I'm going to run out of stuff shortly. However, Amazon, I do need to catch up with the stuff on that one. I started watching uh, The Boys a while back. Crazy show, honestly. Crazy in a good way. I enjoyed it, but with everything else that I was already watching, got kind of left behind on it. And I get sidetracked quite a bit, so... I started watching um, The Expanse and then The Wild Wildlands, I think that's what it's called. I kind of saw that one on accident and I do have to say that I, I am glad that I saw it. It was really interesting. I do think that they need to put up another season. I don't want to say too much on that one because I know that one's newly released so I don't want to, you know, make it seem like that one I'm trying to ruin for everybody. But had it not been for, for an accident, I wouldn't actually have even seen that one. The title's a little odd, but it's, it's, a, it's a good watch. Now, The Expanse, that one. Wow, that one was a good one. Um, a lot of uh, crazy plot twists. You got space, of course. I mean, anything that kind of has space, you're already going to be winning with, honestly. At least in my books, just because, I mean... I try to get everything that has some kind of space uh, situation a chance because those tend to be the best ones. However, I have been wrong in some situations and the movies were not the, the best. But I mean, to each their own on those. There we go. Take care. But yeah, I've finished off I think it was season three or four it was the last season that was on uh, Amazon for a while and so recently when they started putting on the new seasons and I haven't seen any of the new ones and I know I'm missing out because those just those kept kept you going honestly I'm getting him a little bad now There's a little lip right here on the side that I think should have been been black, so I'm trying to to make that accurate. You can tell it's a little hard, so my hands are a little bit shaky because I don't want to get paint everywhere. But yeah, like I was saying, the, the Expanse, that one, I was confused at the very beginning. I mean, there, it's, there's a lot going on in it, and it takes a bit of time to sit there and figure out what specifically they're, they're trying to do. Are they trying to, to go to space? Are they in space? Are they trying to build a new colony? You know, it, it's, it's crazy. But the further I got into it, the more I got into it, honestly. It was one of those where... The moment you started it, you were kind of stuck because you had to figure out what was going to happen next. And when I finally finished all the episodes that were there, I was kind of bummed out because now I had to figure out what to watch next. And you just kept trying to figure out, okay, well, I need to know when the next one's going to happen because, you know, it's there's just so much. But by the time it actually came back, I was already deep into other 
other um, shows. I was already in the Marvel ones and the DCs, and it just started getting harder and harder to get back to them. But now with the with those shows kind of coming to a close, I'm pretty sure those are going to be the next one to that I follow through with and see exactly where they or how they finish off or if they finish off or how many more seasons that they have. I was watching the Tick on Amazon as well. And I know that one is a recreation of an older series as well as a comic book, but I enjoyed that one up until I found out that they were getting rid of it. I know they said it was ratings, honestly, and, and I get it because it's an acquired taste. But I kind of wish they hadn't gotten rid of it because I would have liked to see exactly wh how they finished off with, with those characters. It's going to be a little messy bedhead kind of a, you know, lion. There we go. There we go. Kind of messed up, and I'll see if I can go over that little part in yellow. Okay, so his head is pretty much done. So, try to get the body parts here. little chest hair I forgot the, the eye sockets. I'll come back to those. Get his little toes. There we go. He's come together pretty nicely, honestly. I thought I was going to completely, like, mess this little guy up. Still gotta go over the body with with the yellow, so he's got a bit of a way to go. And here we go. So I do gotta get his little face. I switched what I was using for his face because it just wasn't coming out the way I wanted it. I was using a darker kind of an orangey color. Now I'm just kind of using orange. I don't think I put enough paint on it the first time, so I'll probably have to go over one more coat before he's totally done. So today has been fun. I mean, sitting here, talking about the things I like. I don't know if you guys like the same things, or maybe I'm just talking 
and you guys think I'm wrong. But you know what? I like what I like. And this has been quite enjoyable. I mean, I'll, I'm going to go back to the games. I do love playing the games. But some days, you just need a little bit of a break from the fast-paced stuff. And you need to do a little bit things that are a little bit slower. And this weekend was one of those weeks. It's been one of those... It's been a hectic time here in Texas, so... Everyone kind of just needs to take a little bit of time and just relax a little bit. And I figured I would do that by painting a little bit, getting out of my head a bit. And honestly, this has been quite relaxing. I mean, I'm pretty sure this isn't like the most exciting thing anybody can do. I mean, I'm not unwrapping mysteries yet or anything like that. Eventually I will because I, I really want to do that. I want to see what my chances are of getting those really cool figurines out of the packs. I kind of made a mess of his eye, but I'll go over that one one more time. <laughs> so he's not looking bad but I think he's getting kind of uh, I think he's bleeding into the, the yellow a little bit just fine because I gotta go back and put the yellow on the other part of him I'm kind of running low on yellow though alright so let's do this right here care of his little body. This part will take, won't take that long because he's got a small body. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> to make sure I don't miss any spots. If you see any spots that need to be taken care of, please let me know. If anyone finds out of any other kinds of projects that maybe I haven't come across similar to this one, I found out that they have um, those paint by, by numbers for adults and I'm actually really considering just doing one of those here at home just to to do it um, but they're a little harder to find I did not realize that when you're buying those things you have to actually pay attention to whether you're buying them completed or if you're buying them just the uh, the um, canvas because there, there's a difference apparently I've been trying to figure it out but yeah there, there's a total difference between whether you're buying a fully functional painting thing with a canvas or if you're, you're just buying the the canvas part itself, which is just like a little rolled up piece of canvas that you paint. I did not think that was a thing, but it's actually you have to pay more for the for the entire apparatus. done here. Okay, now I just got to get his tail. Here. 
Okay, now let's get the... Let's go back and get his tail again. Getting from this side just because it's a little easier to see all the spots that I missed. Apparently, I missed a lot of spots. There we go. See, he actually looks like he was supposed to. Now let's go back and do the pink stuff. And I am going to have to give him a little touch up of white in the middle just because I got his teeth all pink. It's a little easier just to stick the pink in the gap and hope they get it to where it needs to get. is all pink now. Okay, let's see. Do I have anything tinier? Try to open up the white and just get that little bit of teeth on him. And then I'll finish off the little bit of black. And then I'm going to say that he is a, su a success. For the first one that I've ever done, he came out well, pretty good. I also have to get that little red lead. The little beetle or worm that he's eating. There we go. Getting that last little bit of black over all the other stuff that I put on top of it. Okay, last color, I think.
I got the, a little bit of brown for the top part just to try to make it a little bit two tone. I could have kept it like the rest of him, but I feel like his little hair needs to stand out. But there we go. I'm gonna say he's done, honestly. Turned out pretty good. I mean, there are parts to him that could be better, but this is my first time doing one of these, and I mean, all in all, he looks like a, a little decent. I don't want to touch him because I got paint on my. There we go. So you can see him there. For something I had to do myself, it came out pretty well. So I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with, with, with the way this turned out. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say that I will see you guys next time. This was fun. Uh, I'll figure out something similar to do later on and have, you know, more conversation. Uh, anyone wants to drop in and tell me what they think or, you know, give me their, their opinions on, on any kind of uh, shows, uh, whatever's going on with you guys, I got no problem with that. I just, you know feel like having days where you want to just chill out and see what's going on out there just kind of give your own opinions on things and that's kind of was uh today for me so uh thank you guys for for coming in anyone who watched for a little bit uh i like that people are coming in and out um i will see you guys next time and i will try to put up some kind of notice on when i'm gonna stream again until next time i will see you guys later have a great week uh, try to enjoy yourselves as best as possible. Even in these tough times, everyone needs to relax a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, you guys have, have a great week.